Howdy y'all. Welcome to this week's episode of Jedi TV. I'm your host Jed, and on today's episode, we're going house hunting. Now, I can't just live in any suburban neighborhood with tightly compact houses everywhere. I've got to have plenty of parking for my cars. Let's see, I've got my motor home for traveling to those long distance shoots. And I have the infamous Jedi van. And then there is the 1988 supercharged Toyota MR2. And the Batvan, my Batman Beyond themed homage to the original Dark Knight. It's built on a 1977 Dodge short wheelbase van. And last, but certainly not least, there's my 1966 GTO convertible. Every time traveler needs one of those. But okay, we're not here to talk about cars necessarily. Although if you wanna know any more about any of those vehicles, just leave a comment down below and maybe I'll put out a focused episode just on that vehicle. Today though, we're looking at a place to park them, a place to set up my studio, and fellowship with family and friends and everything else that a home provides. Continue on Washington 162 East for three quarters of a mile. As most of you know, home is currently in Southern Oregon, but love and money requires me to relocate to Southern Washington, specifically within commuting distance of Seattle. And we've been looking at a lot of different places for the last six months. Some we knew immediately that we did not want, but others appealed to us for one reason or another, like this log cabin in Graham, which upon closer inspection turned out to be way too small for us. Well, particularly too small for me and all of my stuff. Then there's this 1909 built home in Lakewood. Absolutely beautiful. But the amount of work required to put it in a comfortable living condition well, it made the nearly $600,000 price tag seem a little unreasonable. Although at half the price, I might just change the theme of this channel to home remodeling and restoration and move right in. I just want to get a shot of going through the dungeon. But here's the real reason I wanted to make this episode. Last December, Geez, already almost a year ago. I guess we've been looking for a house a little longer than the six months I stated earlier. Anyways, Logan, Jessica, and I looked at a few homes in the greater Seattle area at that time, and we didn't find anything we were impressed with until we happened upon what we came to refer to as our house. Now, our house is a craftsman built in 1933 with about 4,000 square feet of beautiful living space, three bedrooms with an equal number of bathrooms, a massive 40 foot by 60 foot shop that would house all of my cars as well as my toy collection. It'd be like my own personal museum. This house has everything. Room for family and friends to visit, plenty of yard, privacy, you name it. It was ready for us to move in. Well, until it was taken off the market. But now it's back on the market and we're ready to make a move on this perfect house. Well, perfect with one exception. As I started to research the area a little bit more, I discovered that Puyallup is home to one of the most active and potentially dangerous volcanoes in the world. And on the slim chance that Mount Rainier decided to blow its top, this house is smack in a lahar flow zone. So now I'm sitting here thinking, or maybe obsessing, and I've put a pause on pursuing our house, at least temporarily. And I realize there's a lot of risks in living, and there are greater risks depending on where you live. I've lived in earthquake territory, and I've lived in locations that are at great risk for wildfires. But this whole situation with the volcano just caught me off guard. And talking about it, saying it out loud, almost sounds a little silly because I really get that there are risks 
almost everywhere. But again, this just gave me pause. I even put in a call to a geologist friend of mine. You all know him as Joker's Wild here on YouTube and out on the range. And I had a chat with him about it and I felt a lot better afterwards. And I even know several people living here amongst the 40 plus thousand other residents of Puyallup that go about their daily business under the shadow of Mount Rainier with no issues. As of filming this, I'm still here in Puyallup thinking about it and holding up a few other people until I make a decision. But since all of this was weighing heavy on my mind, I thought I'd share the story with you all. So let me know your opinions down in the comments sections below. I'd like to know where you live, what the risks are there, and what you think of living under the shadow of a volcano. And I'm still looking at other places, so be sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you're new here to see where I end up. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time. A special shout out to the following folks whose support of Jedi TV through the Buy Me A Coffee program at www.buymeacoffee.com slash Jedi TV helped to make this week's episode possible. Thanks to my pards Croc Holiday and Auntie Ty. You both know how much I appreciate you and now so does everyone else.